So in this session, we're going to talk about the translation part of planar kinematics equation of motions. So the translation assumptions are simple. So we will assume that the body here um, doesn't have any rotation, just have a translation. So we'll assume all particles on the body have the same acceleration. And we'll assume there is no angular acceleration. And at the point G, the moment of uh, the sum of all the moment of the force about only about this point G are zero. So these are the condition and and for these conditions our um, motion equation of motion general plane equation of motion simplifies to fx equals to m a g and f y equals to m um, a g in y direction and m g sum of moment about point g is zero so one thing to point out that when we're talking about these equations we're talking about translation at rectilinear condition we'll also have equations for curvilinear translation because you know for curvilinear you will have normal and tangential component so now we're gonna see so we talked about at point g no rotation what about if we are interested another point which is not at point g it could be any point here or here so if we're interested about a point a which is not going through point g we can still um, apply the uh, rotation equation where we can take the moments about point A and we can have this equation which will be equals to only this part um, so the kinetic moment will be only MAG multiplied by D which is D is the perpendicular distance of point A to point G so perpendicular distance this is because our acceleration is zero so I z alpha becomes zero so we are left with only this part now we're going to see the same equation for curvilinear translation so for the curvilinear translation the concept is almost uh, the same for the rectilinear instead of a uh, rectilinear path we will have a curvilinear path uh, for a curvilinear uh, motion we need the tangential component and the normal component so instead of fx and fy, we will have normal f normal component, which will be multiplied equals to m normal component of the acceleration, and f tangential component would be mass into tangential component of acceleration a g. Since there is no acceleration, uh, angular acceleration or no rotation, our m g would be zero. So now um, another thing that if our point of interest is any other point. Um, other than g which is mass center here um, and if we want to take moment equation about that point uh, b so we need to find the distance from g to b which would be in this direction the perpendicular distance is e and in this this direction the perpendicular distance from point g to b is h then we can write the moment equation about point B. So sum of all external mom moment due to external forces at point B will be equal to sum of all kinetic moment uh, about point B. So so this this will will be equals to E the difference here and then uh, the acceleration component tangential and again that ten um, this will be normal. Um, the negative multiplication of h uh, the distance between point b to g and the mass into acceleration component normal component of the acceleration again the important thing to notice is the sign you see we put negative here because h um, causes the acceleration from this point g so the acceleration in this direction and this distance so this um, component will create this way uh, rotation which will be clockwise right so that's why we put a negative and similarly for the tangential component which is in this direction and the distance is e same distance e will create a counterclockwise so we put a positive sign for e right so 
next we're, we're gonna solve problem on translation and i'll also make another video for equation of motion rotation but till then thank you